one, two, one, two. Okay, here we go, real quick. Um, we got have some fun with this a little bit. You know, it's the holidays and all that. And I'd like to quickly shout out a place where I'm from, Hollis. So if we still have any people from Hollis, please. I'm sorry, I got the shout out. So this one's for y'all. All right? This is untitled for right now. But here we go. I'm from the hangar off the TV era. If y'all can understand that. I come from a place called Hollis. There's a lot of places like it, but I'm a shout my hood. I'm from a place where Russell Simmons, his first famous business was an ice cream shop. And Red One DMC and LL Cool J could be seen doing laps around Andrew Jackson. Yes, I said Andrew Jackson, not Campus Magnus. I'm talking about all the way up in the stands that you can see from Francis Lewis. We can because we know we can. And the thing that I fear most is seeing these kids not taking care of their hoods, not taking care of themselves. Can you remember when the first time you heard self-destruction or protect your neck? Can you remember the block parties, open fire hydrants, being able to cross the street without getting whooped by your neighbor? These are the kind of things I'm talking about, going home. I'm talking about things like having $3 in your pocket and be able to get quarter water, beef patty and cocoa bread, and still have money left over for a pickle or an icy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Tell these kids to come home. Now see, I work, in, I work in the YMCA, but I'm talking about certain after-school programs, sort of like the PAL, and please somebody tell me, what the hell does SHARP stand for? Because I still don't know. Because I ain't never did no homework there. But I'm going to tell you now, if you see some of these kids, tell them to come home. I also want you guys to pay attention to this, this gas price and this, this economy. I mean, we can't even get on a dollar van without it actually costing a dollar. <laughs> but when you see these kids running around on the app, snatch them up and tell them, come home. See, we've allowed them to sidekick their childhood and pick a page that can't be displayed. Why? Because we ourselves allowed this to happen. What do I mean by that? Real quick. See, when the picket signs are down and the media vans took off and we slipped on that 50th shell that Sean Bell took, we were still here because we live here. It's just us. No more shouting, no more Al Sharpton. It's just us. But we still live here. So we got to take care of ourselves because for real, it's just us. Rich Sample, straight up from Hollis, my hood. <laughs> Alright, we, next up for you, we have this artist over here.